airing up my tires get this thing rolled in the shop gonna set the ls in there start mocking up some stuff for the turbo the manifolds and all that stuff oh man so we'll get it set in here i got some motor mounts for this thing we'll see how much of the wheel wells i gotta cut out but uh montana's getting their first race week drag week type thing starting i think june 19th so i have until next spring to get this thing ready to go but anyways yeah we'll get this thing rolled in and start mocking some stuff up wheeled this old bugger in the shop so uh anyways i gotta yank out these motor mounts put in these ones they'll bolt up here i'll lift that one up bolt brackets on there and we'll swing it in <laughs> the motor swung into place i threw my manifolds on real quick the other one's hiding around the corner over there just trying to get a idea where things need to go this turbo is probably not going to go there but maybe when i gut all this i'll have it sit in the center pop my hot pipe over here come through into the turbo and then the down pipe will just come out over here and my boost side will come over here to an ice box and in to the intake. 
or I'll mount it over here somewhere here. There'll be an electronic power steering pump sitting over there and the hot side will come through here and then the downpipe will go where the heater box is and out the fender. Just ideas, not really sure at this moment, but uh, first thing I gotta focus on is the oil pan sitting in the steering bracket. So I gotta get, I think it's a 302 dash two. That's the pan on the engine that was supposed to go in this car, but I ended up going in my Suburban and I left it on there, but I'll just go buy another one uh, for this one. And then this pan will go for a different motor I have sitting in storage. So anyways, um, I'll come back here tomorrow and work on some more. Got the radiator sitting here and uh, we'll get this thing back out. All right, so since we know I don't have any clearance down here, I ordered a pan. That is the correct one. So anyways, I'll probably I just end up cutting the zip tie, pull my radiator back out and uh, go ahead and pick the motor. I'll get it set off to the side till I think the pan shows up middle of next week. Today is Friday. So I'll go ahead and get that all done up and then we can swing this thing back in and bolt it all up. But in the meantime, I'm also going to pull all of this out. I'm going to pull the windshield washer reservoir out and I might get in here and cut out some of the plating and stuff for like the battery box. I'm going to remove the air intake assembly up front, get that all gutted out to make room for more stuff. <laughs> Got that all knocked out so I'll just get a plate kit blocks this off later on to this <laughs> stuff gutted out probably pull these fog lights as well just to let more air go through here if i do put a air to air intercooler but to get more air into the radiator as well so this needs some cleaning up i'll go ahead and pull this out real quick then i think i'm gonna put it on jack stands yank my wheels off 
so I can just put some other used ones that actually hold air. That one's fine. This one doesn't hold air, that side doesn't hold air in that back corner. So I got three 14s out there that I'll throw on just to keep it afloat. And uh, yeah, so I'll get that off and then we'll do that next. Got the motor up on the hoist hanging in there I want to get thrown back in here so the pan showed up the mail so anyways I'll go grab it open it up all right so this is the new pan see how that's a lot lower in the front all the way across compared to this one way different so anyways, I got to drill a port for a turbo drain. So I got to figure out where to put that in that pan. I think I did it here on my other engine. Um, but we'll figure that out. Get that pan thrown on here. So with this pan, it's gonna be easier to put the bung in the back right here and here, right below my motor mount and right at the cross member. So it'll be tight, probably could, but I'm not going to. Here's too shallow. So right here, I'm gonna drill a hole and tap it to half inch MBT. All right, so I drilled and tapped this. Port goes into the pan. I'll put the baffle plate back in and I'll start pulling apart that other engine. <laughs> All right, threaded that port in, stole this off of the other pan. So that's my turbo feed fitting. So now I just gotta grab an oil filter on the cabinet. All right, now I'll grab my impact, my socket, and go pull that panel. All right, got the old pan off. Now I just gotta pull this pickup tube off so I can put the other one on so it has clearance. All right, there we go. Got this pan all whipped on there. So I'm not gonna paint it, I'm not gonna worry about it. Just gonna swing her on in. Pull it out, it's hitting right there, and over on that corner. Just ever so 
a little bit. The one's more of hitting the brake line, so I'm just gonna move that clip down. So this one was hitting the brake line and hitting right here. So it was really pushing this down. So I'm gonna move that and I might trim a little bit out on each side and box it in a little bit. All right, engine setting in place. Got a couple bolts in the motor mounts. Got a few little tight spots I might fix as soon as this engine comes out, put the tranny back in. But uh, yeah, at least it's set in there and I can start fabricating up where I want everything to be. All right, I just kind of sealed off everything. This thing will be rolled in and out of the shop, making life a little easier, um, getting other projects done. But uh, looks like I gotta tape that steam port. Other than that, I guess uh, let's see if we can get the hood to shut. Looks like it's touching the intake a little bit. But at least it latches on the first click so the wind will not or like blow it up or flip it open or anything. So I'm okay with that. That's all for this video. But when we come back with this car, we'll be fabricating all sorts of stuff. We'll be doing a tube front end, mounting the turbo, building the exhaust, tranny put in, build the cross member, then we'll gut the interior, we'll tub it, we'll cage it, back half it. So we got all sorts of stuff to do. I want to have this thing done by June next year, 2024, for Big Sky Drag Week in Montana. So, all right, well, if you guys want to see more of this drag car build, like and subscribe, follow along. Thanks.